this Anaheim Family Justice Center is the only center in uh, Orange County. It was modeled after a center that was developed in San Diego about uh, six or eight years ago. And the center is one of about 15 in the country. And this concept is pretty straightforward. We bring all the resources possible to one location so that that way victims of domestic violence, child abuse, sexual assault, or elder abuse can come to one location and get service. Some of our on-site partners now are the uh, police department, the city attorney, the district attorney, Orange County Social Services, Adult Protective Services, Children and Family Services, CalWORKS, uh, CSP Victim Assistance Programs, Women's Transitional Living Center, and of course the Chapman University Law School. Um, one of the things that we do here at the center is use this center for education and for uh, awareness as well as prevention. So uh, one of our programs is to is to uh, is to raise that awareness, and so to do that, we we have a poster campaign that we get involved in to raise the awareness. And at this time, if I could get, uh, uh, let's see, from uh, Wendy from the Anaheim Ducks, if you'd come up, we're going to unveil a poster that's going to be put to as many places as we can put it throughout the uh, city and county about uh, about the raising the awareness about domestic violence and family violence. You can see by the poster it says uh, do not or don't cross the line and uh, we have uh, Ducks player Corey Perry who couldn't make it today but uh, it's, uh, it symbolizes the fact that we want people not to cross the line when it comes to family violence. And we need to get the message out that there is a safe haven here for people to come and to uh, find help whether that's financial help, uh, mental health, help with children, physical help. Um, we, we need to let them know that there is this wonderful gem right in our own community that not only will serve Anaheim, but will serve all of the surrounding area. Uh, I'm really thrilled to see just all the partners that are here today, all of this coming together, the initiative by the city of Anaheim to decide that this was a high priority item and I'm thrilled that Chapman University um, is providing uh, its students to help to um, get to the people who really need the help. Jim, I would like to present to you, it's really not my money, but I did fight hard to get it. Um, it's really the taxpayers' money, but I think it's a very, very important use of our money, and it's for $376,000 to the family violence clinic that we have here for Chapman University to do the work that we expect you'll do, and you'll get an A+, plus, I hope. So thank you so much, Jim. Well, the significance of receiving this check today for the Family Justice Center is that the Chapman Law Clinic will now be able to handle more uh, referrals, take care of more victims, help them get the legal aid they need so that they can stay in the system, get the help they need, stop the violence in their home. You know, there are many times uh, the victims are in need of specific legal uh, advice, in particular with uh, immigration issues but you know also some other legal advice that we certainly can't give them as cops or social service advocates that are working here at the center so this is yet another one of our partners that's going to provide a good service so that victims get everything they need or as close to it as possible at one location there's an incredible need in Orange County dealing with this pressing social issue. It's a tragedy in many families. And it's a tragedy where those people who are abused have literally no salvation, no way out. This is a way out. This is a way out in terms of providing not only legal services, uh, but police services in terms of protection. Giving the, the abused person uh, the opportunity to get out of that desperate situation. Oh, if you're in a desperate situation, if you're a, a, 
a victim of, even a perceived victim, even if it's a threat, it doesn't have to be actual physical abuse, it can be a threat which can be just as damaging morally, physically, and emotionally as actually being struck. You've got to call this place. You have to do something. You need to call a hotline, and I'm sure the number will be on the screen. And get some help. Get here any way you can. If you have to take a bus, if somebody can drive you, if you're close to the area, walk over. But find out what your rights are. Find out how you can get some help. Help is out there, and you just need to access it. But it really takes the victim to take the first step. We can't do anything about family violence without the support or the cooperation uh, of a victim. And if the victim thinks uh, they're gonna, it's going to get any better without help, it won't. Uh, uh, history has shown that violence continues and escalates if you don't do something to intervene. So we're hoping that this poster will let people know there is a place to come. Pearson Park Amphitheater, it's really a special, unique place. It has the historic architecture with the beautiful landscaping of the Arbor Ways, and it's surrounded by the palm trees, and it's kind of a little place nestled away from the outside world that creates this wonderful ambiance and a very exciting, unique atmosphere to hold any type of event. The City of Anaheim actually produces 12 to 18 shows a season. The season actually runs uh, mid-May through September. Uh, we have two different types of series. The first series is, we call it the Family Friday Nights. It's actually our old Just for Kids series. We just changed the name. It takes place, of course, on Friday nights, and it's really geared for children and families. We have a lot of um, cultural programming from Polynesian dance, again, um, ballet, uh, multiple types of music from Japanese drumming all the way to symphonic music, as well as a lot of interactional, interaction and educational type of activities with the scientists that actually brings kids up on stage to do uh, science performances. Um, we do have low admission fees that it makes it a great place to come and everybody can um, afford it and enjoy. To come here is really a, a unique experience, especially if you are able to come here with your families. Um, families are able to interact with each other and um, experience the live theatrical performances, whereas if you go to the movies, you sit in the dark, you don't talk to each other, and here you actually get up, applaud, and really interact with each other, and as you leave, then you come a little bit closer and have a lot, a lot of things to talk about, so it really is a good family bonding experience. The best way to find out about what's playing at the theater this season is to go to www.anaheim.net. Actually, you can go to the Visitors tab, scroll down to Pearson Park Theater. There we'll have a full show listing. It'll explain how to purchase tickets, show times, and anything else that's going on at the theater throughout the season. The Art and Soul exhibition includes three different exhibitions. The first is Papel Chicano. Uh, that's the latest collection from the, the amazing collection, the Chicano Art collection of Cheech Marin. He's the largest Chicano arts collector in the world. Uh, where it, actually his second location for this exhibition, we're thrilled to have it. That's the pieces you see behind us now. Uh, a second part of the exhibition is the Chicano Collection. This is an exhibition that's travelled nationally and we're thrilled to have it now here uh, in Anaheim. And it includes the uh, many print pieces uh, from his collection as well. Then the third part, uh, which, you, which you may be able to see a little bit of, is Chicano Now. Uh, Chicano Now is a fully interactive family exhibition straight from the mind of Cheech Marin uh, and it just addresses all sorts of wonderful topics including his family growing up and, and, and a lot about the Chicano culture. 
the quality of the artwork is second to none. It's really varied and as with all art exhibitions there'll be some pieces that are to your liking and some pieces that are not. Um, but the, the, the type of artwork is very varied but it all centres uh, around a very cultural theme. Um, the one we see here, Death of Wino, uh, is uh, the artist Vincent Valdez's uh, grandfather losing his best friend, his dog. In our main exhibition building for Chicano Art and Soul, we have an exhibition called Chicano Now. Uh, that includes some wonderful interactive video pieces. Actually includes a motion simulator where you get to ride along with Cheech, uh, Cheech Marin as he uh, experiences the lowrider culture. And then there's all sorts of interactive theatres, interactive videos, there's even a dance floor uh, where you can learn to uh, a bit about salsa dancing. One of the most interesting things about this exhibition is while it carries a Chicano art and soul label, much of the artwork, much of the interactives really gives us an appreciation of everyday society and everyday life. It's an insight into people's souls, it's an insight into their beliefs and their culture. I think it's very important for many different people to be able to see this exhibition. I'm Nick Compass, Director of Instruction for the Anaheim Golf Academy at Anaheim Hills and Dad Miller Golf Course. Have you ever wondered how to warm up when you get to the golf course with maybe about 10 minutes to spare? My favorite guy that warms up is the guy that grabs three irons and you see him make these big old swings and he's trying to get all his achy bottles and every single muscle in his body warmed up and it's really, really heavy. Well, guess what? Then he goes up to that first tee and guess what club he's got to hit? His driver. So he puts those clubs down, he grabs the driver. Well, guess what? Driver's the lightest club in our bag. What do you think the chances after swinging that heavy, heavy thing that he's going to be able to feel the club and feel, be able to feel this light club? Remember, I'm hitting the golf ball with the club. The club is the most important instrument when I get ready to hit my golf shot. So he's not going to have any feeling at all, doesn't have a feel for the club, and he's going to get up there, and he's going to swing, and he's probably going to slice that golf ball every time. If you get to the course and you've only got about 10 minutes, stretch a little bit, hit a few putts, make a few practice swings, some smooth practice swings with the club that you're going to use off that first tee and that's going to be a better way to prepare. Don't be that guy swinging five golf clubs trying to get all those muscles loosened up real quick because you're going to lose the feeling in there. If you do that, you'll get headed in the right direction. For more information on the Anaheim Golf Academy, please visit us at www.anaheim.net or come on down to the golf course and see us.